Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Yes, it is I, Karen Deneen, back with another video. And I'm coming to you today with a Dollar Tree haul. But before we begin, I want to say to each and every one who have uh, sent their condolences and your prayers uh, that my family and I deeply appreciate it. Uh, and I ask that you continue to pray for my family as we lay my cousin to rest on tomorrow. Um, it's been a crazy week for me. I have gone back to work and it's been difficult to say the least, but I'm fighting through it. Still having some extreme pain but I am seeking out another doctor and hopefully this too shall pass. Anyway, uh, I wanted to take a break away from all the riffraff and um, everything that's been going on for me and my family this week as I have been popping into a couple of Dollar Trees after work um, and I've made a few purchases and I thought, why not make a video? Also, if you are not familiar or if you are not aware, today is the hashtag I am a creator thon 8 taking place from 2 p.m. till 10 p.m. Eastern Time, and that's on James Cox channel. So make sure that you pop in and uh, say hello. Um, let me explain something to you guys. Um, as you can see, my channel has grown. I am well over now 500 subscribers. And of course I could not have done that without you, but I certainly could not have done that without um, hashtag I am a creator community. If you have a small YouTube channel and you are trying to uh, get the views and get the subscribers who are truly going to support your channel, then this is the place to be. So once you look at my video, pop over to James Cox's channel and check out his live that's taking place till 10 p.m. Eastern Time today. Again, I want to thank all of my new subscribers and all of you who have continued to support me. Um, but please, if this is something that you're interested in, make sure that you join in and, hey, what do you have to lose? You know, being a creator is almost like starting your own business. If you don't advertise, no one's going to buy or no one's going to come. And that's the same way it is with your channel. If you don't put yourself out there, then no one's going to watch your videos. So make sure that you go in and pop in and say hello, and you will be surprised by the amount of people who will welcome you and the amount of people who will then start supporting you. And of course, pay it forward. If they're making videos that you're interested in, then certainly support them as well. So again, hashtag I am a creator thon 8 is taking place on James Cox's channel. Uh, and make sure you pop in. So I bought a few things. And again, I wanted to just share these items with you. Um, and I don't want to make this video too long because uh, my cousin's wake is tonight and I'm trying to get a little bit of rest before that all gets started. So, if you're interested in seeing what I purchased, then stay tuned. So I'm gonna start with some food items. Um, the last Dollar Tree haul that I uh, uploaded, I mentioned that I purchased or I showed these items that I purchased, which was the um, energy blend and it's by imperial nuts and um, this one is only 150 calories i like the fact that it, there is not a lot of sugar 
Uh, it has almonds, pecans, walnuts, honey roasted peanuts, honey roasted sesame sticks. And let me tell you, I enjoyed this thoroughly. I really, really did. I really enjoyed this. And then the other one is called the Imperial Nuts Cashew Snack Mix. And it includes cashews, peanuts, and sesame chips. And this was really good as well. Again, if you're looking for snacks that's not high in sodium and high in uh, sugar, then this would definitely fit the bill. The next item that I purchased were these roasted salted almonds. And uh, I don't know how many calories or the uh, salt or sugar count. I don't have my glasses, but these are my favorite. And uh, yeah. And for a dollar, there's quite a bit in here. Normally, you know, you only get about that much in a bag, but it's at least halfway up or uh, maybe three-fourths up. So that's pretty good for a dollar. The next item that I purchased were these lens wipes, and uh, it's 16 count. Uh, these work perfect. Let me tell you, when I wipe my glasses, it's almost like I got a new pair of lens, honey. And then the next item that I purchased, I, I have so many straws, but the one thing I don't have are the extra long straws. And when I saw these, I thought they were perfect. Uh, the reason I really like these um, is because the tumbler that I have that's almost like a Yeti is really large. And so a normal straw will not fit. And I like to drink things out of a straw. And when I use a normal straw, there's about that much that's sticking out of the uh, container, which doesn't leave me much to drink from. So when I saw these, I thought they were, these were perfect. And they're the flex kind, which I won't use all of that, but the kids will enjoy these, especially my grandson. But it is um, 80 in a package. And I did find another nail polish uh, by Kiss. It's the gel polish. And I think this one is red, red, if I'm not mistaken. I think now I have all of the colors that Dollar Tree has to offer. Um, but again, I love Kiss nail polish. And for a dollar, you just cannot go wrong. Next, I found this cute scarf. It is not an infinity scarf. But of course, you know, I am very much into scarves and I'm looking for the leopard print that I've seen someone haul, but I haven't seen them in my Dollar Tree yet. But I thought this would be so cute, especially for a wrap. I thought this would be really, really cute. Or you can wear this. Uh, actually, it would go really well with what I have on because it's got the coral color in it. And I thought it was really, really cute um, for a dollar. And uh, yeah, they're pretty long, so you can, they're pretty versatile, I would say. So yeah, and it's called the Fashion Scarf. There's not a name, it's just Fashion Scarf, but yeah. And um, I'm on the hunt for more of these. Um, I have the Infinity Scarves, but these would be perfect to wear as a, a wrap or around my neck. Also, I found the bandanas. Now, these I purchased for my boyfriend who is uh, into working out and he likes to wear the headbands or the head, uh, the bandanas. And uh, so I thought these were pretty versatile. I got this one with the red and black. I don't know if you can see that, but that color is um, a darker red and black with a little bit of white. And it's kind of like a, the... Um, uh, the handkerchief or bandana print. But yeah. And then, I don't know if he's going to wear this one. But if not, then I'll rock it myself. But this one has the skulls on it. And I'm not into skulls. But I was more into the color versus the, the print on this. It is masculine, one. And two, because he does wear a lot of black and black and white. Uh, he likes to coordinate when he works out. But I thought, you know, just to work out in, be perfect. 
And uh, I like the versatility of these things because um, it can be worn almost, and I think these might be used uh, by motorcyclists. I could be wrong, but uh, there's so many different ways you can wear this. So, yeah, you'll probably wear it maybe something like that. I'm not sure, but no, not like that. He'll probably wear it something like that, maybe tied up in the back. Who knows? But if he doesn't want it, I'll wear it myself. And then I have this blue and kind of a camel color or kind of a gold print. And I'm thinking this might be masculine. Again, if he's not interested in wearing it, then I'll definitely just rock it myself um but yeah for a dollar and uh i thought they were really cute and then the next is colander i have larger ones but i don't have any that are uh small like this and i think this would be perfect for your um fruits when you're needing to rinse them off uh your grapes and your strawberries Especially for me because I don't buy fruit in big bulk. Uh, so this would be perfect for me to rinse those items off. And then the next item I purchased, and I know you're probably going to say something about me and I don't care. Okay? Uh, no. But all kidding aside, I saw these and I don't have the smoke gray or black colored glasses. And they are the plastic tumblers. Uh, they have these in the larger size, but I wanted cocktail glasses and I thought these would be perfect because they're small enough. And even though I have the small plastic cups in the variety of colors like purple and teal and uh, strawberry red, and those were purchased at Costco and I've shown you that and talked about it many, many times in the past. But these are a little bit smaller than those. And I thought this would be perfect for cocktails, so I bought four of them. And they came in um, a teal blue and a apple green. Um, but I simply like the size of these because they are great for, you know, just a smaller um, drink and perfect for cocktails. I don't want to sound like I'm a, a drunk or anything or that's all we do around here, but... When I entertain or when I serve someone, I like serving things in the proper glass. And that's just a big pet peeve that I have. I am a glass fanatic. So if I see a nice drinking glass, you got me. Okay. Anyway, uh, on to the next item. I purchased these two um, zebra and the pink leopard shades. When I saw these, I got so excited. I was like, I cannot believe I finally found these. And the reason I said that is because I went into several Dollar Trees and I'm on the hunt for those lemon dishes. The plates, I don't want the cups. I don't want the bowls. I simply want the plates. I think they are so cute. Now, I don't know. The bowls are pretty cute too, so I might opt to get the bowls, but the plates or the dessert plates, I am that is simply on my wish list. I have gone to uh, Dollar Tree after Dollar Tree ever since they started being shown in videos on YouTube, and I haven't seen them yet. I'm hoping that I do have the opportunity to buy those lemon dishes. But uh, yeah, they are so freaking cute. If you are not subscribed to my channel, then what are you waiting on? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell so you know the next time that I upload a video. So until next time, guys. Bye-bye.